Next step, we're going to adjust the voltage on the power supply to 5 volt. So the best way to do it, you should not plug this power supply into any power socket so that right now it's not live. As you can see, both of my power supply have the voltage adjustment knobs up here. For this one, it has number four, five, and six. And this one have low and high for L and H. The safest way to do is to crank this knob to the lowest value possible so that when you hook up the power supply to a arcade to the super gun and a super gun connect to your arcade board it would not damage either super gun or your game board so let's just crank up the knobs so this one i just turned that knob counterclockwise just keep doing it until that you can't really turn it back counterclockwise and on you know that is the lowest voltage value on a power supply unit and same thing here this is another arcade power supply unit so I have low and high so turn it counterclockwise and you can't turn it anymore it means that is always the lowest point lowest value connect this cable into a super gun so you see that port there just connect it here So it is connected. Um, you should not turn the power supply unit on at the moment because there's still a chance that the voltage will actually damage the board. So it's best to hook up to the to the JAMA um, game board. So if you have like a Neo Geo or CPS two or three, hook it up into there first before you power supply on. So what we're gonna do is like you hook up the super gun to your JAMA board. Then after that, you hook up this size into a power socket to turn on the power supply unit. So the next we're gonna do is to read the value here and adjust it until you get five volts. So let's move this aside a bit. I have myself here a CPS tree board. And you can see there's a jammer edge in here, turned like this way and hook it up yep so you can see there's a value the volt meter here so what I'm gonna do next is power on the power supply unit so I'm gonna plug into Awesome. As you can see, the power supply unit now is on. So next step is you're gonna crank this value up. As you can see, there's a value start appear on the screen. Is 428 so crank it up a bit further a bit more until you get five just do it very slowly yep five volt that's perfect so now you are ready to play games so at 5 volt it be the safest op it wouldn't destroy your super gun or the game board so make sure when you adjust the voltage connect the power supply unit to super gun and super gun has to be connected to the game board because if you don't connect the super gun to the game board and you're trying to adjust the voltage there might be a chance that it will be a no load and it might actually damage your components on the super gun itself. So next we have to look at is the video cable. So um, how super gun would not be sold with the cable. So you have to get the cable yourself. As in here is the mini DIN 8 pin. So you can get a SCART cable. 
like this one here, which I get from a website called retroaccess.com. So what you have to get is the SNES RGB cable, eight pin in stereo RGB. That's for $19. So as you can see what it has here is a SCART cable and it will pass through the audio to the SCART if you have a TV. Also it had also a separated 3.5 millimeter jack so you can plug this into a speakers or external speakers if you happen to go to connect to like a PVM without a SCART port for example so let's plug it in next thing we'll talk about controller by default the Supergun has two DB15 port. This port is compatible with any of the Neo Geo controllers, including the Neo Geo AES joypad and the joysticks. If you don't have the this kind of joystick from Neo Geo, you can buy this adapter. This is the Undam USB decoder or UD USB in short. You can buy them in some arcade online shop. So what it work is will convert the signal and allow you to hook up all the USB controller into the, the super gun and you can play it. So if you have PS4 controller, you have Xbox One controller, even any of the PC Logitech joypads, USB fire sticks, uh, I've tested them all, it works fine. So let's hook this one in. I have myself here, a, just a PC Logitech controller. A test just plug that in all right cool so I think now we are ready to hook this into our Scott TV and test it out Okay, now after we hook up the cable SCART and turn on the power supply, you see that there's a pictures appear on the screen. And if you look at on this power, there's this knob here. So this will allow you to adjust the brightness. So for example, if I turn the knob down, you can see the picture is getting darker and the other one is getting brighter. So this is one way for you to adjust the brightness easily by just turning the knobs on the super gun itself the other thing that you might be noticed is that there is no sound it's not that just because my crt doesn't have the volume cranking up is this that this cable nes nes rgb cable in order to prevent prevent the audio interference they had the separate 3.5 mm audio jack which is they pass the audio signal through here. So in order to get the audio or the music, all you have to do is connect this cable into this jack here right next to it. Here we go. So now we can get the music on. If you go back and look at here, there's like a little dark blue knob. You can use a screwdriver and twist it around to adjust the volume. You can see that's getting more quiet, more quiet. And if you want, you increase it. There you go. Simple as that. And as you can see, the UD USB allows you to control the characters and play perfectly.
So you're going to connect this cable because the um, Sony BVM doesn't use a SCART port, basically use a PBNC. So what you need is that you need a uh, adapter. So this adapter will from BNC, the BNC to SCART. And it's just simple as connect these together. And turn on the TV.